Nanaima Regional General Hospital is now home to the future of medical education on the island. A brand new state-of-the-art facility has opened at NRGH as part of the University of British Columbia's Island Medical Program and Family Practice Residency Program. Students will be able to have the best of both worlds, on-the-job training at a busy hospital and a high-tech classroom. A News reporter Steve Coulterman has the story. The former operating rooms at Nanaimo's hospital have undergone a dramatic facelift. The state-of-the-art addition is the new home of the University of British Columbia's Island Medical Program and Family Practice Residency Training Program. It is very important to provide them with the opportunity to learn in uh, communities other than the largest cities in the province because we need to bring learning closer to where the need for physicians are. The $2.3 million project is funded by the Ministry of Health. It includes video conferencing technology, seminar rooms, and a simulation lab to support hands-on education. The university's postgraduate residency program moved to Nanaimo in 2007. Since then, more than 75% of the students have given back to the community. We are uh, bringing young people in here who uh, spent two years in the, in the residency program and uh, they, they uh, develop links and connections in the community and many of them decide to then locate their practices in here. The hospital is home to 16 family practice residents. Simon Moore is one of them. He says the new facility will enhance his medical education, preparing him for real life experiences. There's a variety of ways that this helps us improve. I mean, um, we don't have to practice on real patients, so we can maintain patient safety as a priority here. Um, we also get the opportunity to practice procedures and have the opportunity for error. And when we make a mistake on the doll, then we're going to be that much more competent when we practice in real life. Simulation training isn't cheap. This mannequin costs more than $40,000, but the training doctors receive on it is priceless. Having the video cameras and having that committed space, uh, we can look at crisis resource management skills as opposed to just the manual task of intubating a patient or starting an IV. Uh, and those are skills that aren't usually taught in, in med school. A new facility providing hands-on experiences, preparing doctors for the future. In Nanaimo, Steve Coulterman, A News.